you never know that anything's going to be huge. That's the dilemma, and that's the exhilaration of the movie business. There's nothing greater than to say, okay, I've, I've, I've created something here that, that may even actually live beyond me. It's nice people come up and like and enjoy something you've done. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Most time travel stories is very convenient because what they do is they don't they don't take you back. You know, they take you far enough back to where you aren't born yet or far enough forward to when you're already dead. And it gets real complicated when you start time traveling within the realm of time of your own existence. You know, the whole idea that you could go back and jeopardize your own existence because your mother would fall in love with you. I mean, who thinks like that? I mean but the elements of the story, I mean, it just, I could tell right away, it was just so cross-generational. It was just like it had something for everybody. Look, you're not going to be picking a fight, Dad. Dad, Dad, Daddy-o. You're coming to a rescue, right? It had a unique spin on time travel. If I could go back in time and change something, my life or whatever, what would that be and what would it be like? I'd read a lot of screenplays. Not that many of them actually made me laugh out loud while I, you know, while I was reading it. And I'm going to clean up this town. Good. You can start by sweeping the floor. It's one of the few times in the almost 25 years I've been doing this that I remember getting up and running into another room to read a section of the script to somebody else because I thought it was so funny. Marty, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're stuck here. You know, it's like one crisis to the next. And then you got to think at the same time because they change from here to there, this and that, and how does this moment relate to and it. And the pacing is very, is, is relentless, you know. There is a sort of naive simplicity on one level and on, on, on a lot of other levels. There's so much layering, there's so much going on in that script. Pay attention to each one of these things. You will not be disappointed. Everything pays off. Your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. So you're my Uncle Joey. You gotta get used to these bars, kid. I have the best vision of myself, of like, in my head of Bob Zemeckis and Bob Gale, just giggling. Just giggling, oh, what if we put that in the background? Such glee of the idea of, of how intricate it is. She says, how dare you? Yeah. When these guys would talk, um, uh, you couldn't help but be impressed and enthused. You know, that's the best screenplay that Bob and I ever wrote.